guitarist Peter Coppice. How did you guys choose to record in Los Angeles as opposed to where you're from in Australia? The producers were here that we'd sort of thought that we're available and we're into doing it. And also um, Arista was our new home label and it seemed like a, an idea for them to get to understand and know us a bit better too. Tell us about your song, New Season. I'm really happy how, how it came up. It's a, an unusual song. I think that might have been some of the uh, attraction in that it doesn't run a normal format of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, you know. It's um, got a, an unusual structure, so it's like a cross between, a, for me it's like a, a mini epic sort of, and a pop song in the one thing. Now you do some solo work on your own as well. Tell us a little bit about that. It's got a lot of similarities to the church. Obviously, you know, as a guitarist, you know, I create um, the same things for myself as what I sort of contribute to the church, except in the church's form, the chemistry of, of the collective is a different energy than what you have on your own. Um, on my own, I also write a lot more on keyboards, which I don't do at all in the church. And uh, so at least 50% of my songs that come out, like on my solo album, things like that, uh, written on a keyboard and feature it primarily in the song. Um, they're very melodic, a lot of harmony in my songs generally compared to what the church has. You can be more personal on your own solo work too. You don't feel like you're a spokesman for a, a committee, you know what I mean? You're, you're yeah. writing for, from a personal platform which is much more relaxing and very satisfying as an individual. You don't feel the pressure feel a different sort of a pressure because you're going to have to stand for it yourself but it's um, in some ways it's m more satisfying but when you work with a band you've got other energies and they contribute ideas that it's uh, stimulating I don't necessarily think it's richer but it, um, it's different a lot of people like to associate you guys sort of as a neo psychedelic and put that label on you how do you feel about that well, for the sake of label, you know, I'd rather be thought of as like surrealist just to give it a difference from the psychedelic thing. The whole psychedelic thing was a bit of a fad, but it was important in that it was e experimental and, and, and exploratory. And I think that it didn't touch on a lot of the er areas it could have gone, um, basically in the, in the artistic sense of, especially lyric and poetry, you know, it's, uh, it's been around for the beginning of time. The best artists, I think, are people who, who don't, don't paint reality but paint their feelings, you know, and, and impressions of it. And I think in music there's plenty of room for that too, to sketch, you know, impressions rather than being too specific and, you know, like dance music to me is very specific. And we try to touch on different areas and expand, and I suppose with an intention like that, it's not really psychedelia, it's, it's surrealist. I'm interested in how you interact with, uh, with Marty as a guitar player. We sort of have a sum total that's greater than the parts um, idea that comes about through um, sort of a harmonic interplay. It happens differently on different songs, <clears throat> but uh, generally when it, when it happens the, the best as far as it being sounding like another instrument, you can't really actually hear the two guitars, you just hear like an orchestra of instruments and you get like pizzicato violins coming out of uh, out of it and you get droning cellos and things like that and it, it just comes about through us doing plucking of different sort of notes against one another and it's a it's a trick that it just falls into place through experimentation Steve said that you tend to play the slow echoey parts mm -hmm. that kind of more in your personality Oh, I've got a bigger echo unit. <laughs> <laughs>